guys, how's it going? It's Hyde here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Tectonica. And in the last episode, well, we started growing our tower over there, but more importantly, we started automating a couple things. Nothing crazy, but we started upgrading these, what are these things called? Processing units. And we started automating these accumulators. Now I've gone ahead and put a bunch of accumulators in there. We're kind of just waiting for these repair parts to get made so that we can go and fix that door over there. Oh, and I'm out of power again. Oh, I love these new cranks. These new cranks are the best. Now, I also, in the last episode, upgraded our inputs. Oh, why is there an X over there? Looks like it's still accepting, so I don't know. What does that mean? What does that mean? I guess it just means it doesn't have anything going into it. All right. All right. So it's kind of slow, actually, isn't it? Are these things empty? No, they're full. So we're either going to need fast inserters pulling stuff out of here, or I'm just going to have to do this by hand because we're empty. So there's that. Those things are going to do their thing. Yeah, I mean, we probably should use fast inserters, but I don't have them unlocked yet. How, what is our tech looking like? We have 753 tech. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, 753 tech. Okay, smelting speed. I don't know if we need that. We can't keep up with what we're doing now. Dense, increases density by 25%. For 90, that seems kind of good. I definitely want these conveyor belts. And I definitely want these. And do I want this? I think I do. It's only 35. Let's do that. Transportation. Hover pack. Speed. Speed. Let's do that. And I got 100 left here. What do we want? We've got 100. 100 left. Oh, we haven't even unlocked this thing yet. They just gave us one for free, I think. I kind of want beacons. I don't know. 85 for a core composer. I'll do light sticks because I love lights. And then we've got 83 left. What is MOR? Increased mining speed of all mining drills to 180% of the base speed. It sounds good, but the problem is I currently can't keep up with them anyway. So, although now that I can make fast inserters, where are they? Fast inserter requires power, requires processing units. Uh Okay. Okay. Well, let me go get some stuff. Maybe we can make a few fast inserters and see if that's going to be enough to keep up with our drills. So I will start over here on this side. I think we're going to need a few more of these as well. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I think we should maybe start automating some of the factory building components just so that building factories is easier um i don't i don't know how hard that's going to be exactly but we can check it out and see i basically just want to automate the foundation tiles and then i guess how hard are mark ii belts kind of hard shiver thorn coolant okay so we can't really do that right now even though i've got it unlocked we've like that is not something we can do right now but this is pretty easy to do so we can automate the belts we can automate these i don't know if i really need to automate stairs probably not that big of a deal and then i would like to automate these things all of them ideally um Hmm. So we start making the yellow ones out of mechanical parts. The yellow ones and more mechanical parts mix the inserters. 
This one takes electrical compon components, and this one is the hardest one to make, which takes the Kindle Vine and the processing units. Whoops, I did not mean to click on that, but here we are. Okay, so that seems fine. Let's finish. Well, I guess I gotta wait for my foundations to finish building so that we can build over there. You know what? Hold up. Hold up. Let's top these things up really quick so that we can make some more of these. I, I need to automate this at some point, but for now, I think it's fine. Let's take these bad boys, crank this on so that it's ready to go. And let's go see if we can fix that door. I mean, we're crafting all this stuff and it's going to take some time anyway. I may as well use my time to do something else. Now, I think it was this way. There's a ton more iron. I think it was this way. Uh, what? Which way is my... Huh? Where am I? Mm, no. Okay, we went the wrong way. Okay, it's right over here. It's right over... Not there. Over here. Wait. I didn't realize that there was a door here. Weird. Okay, um, hang on a moment. We just gotta get up over here somewhere. Up over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 there we go. Inspect. Put these in there. <gasps> Facility access door unavailable. Refer to display panel for self-repair requirements. But put them in. Oh, repair access door. Durr. We're in. Scan those mining charges. And that computer has something up with it, too. Mining charge tech now available. Okay, hold up. Before we scan that, just want to make sure we're not forgetting anything. Oh, this door opened as well. What is this? Craft speed two. What's this? New data bank entry added inserter. Okay. Something keeps pinging this terminal with the most irritating supply requisition I've ever seen. Wait, it's the Excalibur. But why would they requisition? Hold on. It's not a requisition at all. Someone is using the supply management system to send a distress call? Automated distress call received. Waypoint added to system display. Oh! An automated distress call? I've only ever seen one of these in training. It shouldn't even happen. These beacons only light up when someone becomes unable to trigger a distress call themselves. Or worse. We need to find the source of that signal. Somebody needs our help. I'm on it. Count me in. So, oh, I gotta go this way, I think, to get out of here. Come on, let me up and over. I should really just break that piece of dirt so it's out of the way. Okay, our foundations are almost done. So I could upgrade our copper productions. I also need to upgrade this, because this is not, not cutting it for me anymore here. Where does this go? How far away is it? Is it worth it? Not... It's not really showing up, but let's... Whatever. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what's going on. Shouldn't take too long to get there. And then when we come back, we can finally get those fast inserters going. Upgrade our copper productions. Do I have to go through here? Uh, Wrong buttons. I can't tell if this is the right way. I think it is. Oh, hold up, though. No, it's not. But well, kinda is. I guess we could dig through and see what happens. Here we go. It's not actually letting me dig anymore. It's not. So what does that mean? We either have to go up 
or I might have to try and connect this area over here. I might have to go back, come up in here, connect that. It looks like there's a shaft or something. I don't know if I can go up. Uh, kind of. No, it won't let me. This is all locked up. So let's go around and see if I can get around the other way. Okay, what is this? Extraterrestrial material detected. Advanced mining drill or upgraded tool required. Oh. Okay. Bad plan. That plan sucks. Breaker, you're going to build and place as many mining charges as it takes to blow this wall into the next sector. We need to get to that distress call as soon as possible. Why can't I just dig? Or is this the problem? It's not going to let me dig through here? Oh. It's... It let me in. Oh, but there's Atlantium here or whatever the heck this stuff's called. Oh, that's the thing I can't break through. Is it surrounded? I think it might be. Oh, just wait. No, it's not going to let us cheese it. It's not going to let us cheese it. So I got to bust this wall down with explosives. Okay. Um, let's see. We just unlocked that. I just got to figure out where it is. Mole speed. Um, you'd think it would be in terraforming, but I guess not. Logistics. No, no. No, no, huh? Oh, it is in terraforming. We just have to do this Victor level first. Okay. All right. So we can't go over there just yet, but all the stuff we were waiting on to be built has been built now. So that's good. We can go home. We can finish doing the upgrades to the copper like we were talking about. And then I guess the first thing we want to start automating. I know I talked about maybe doing the building stuff and maybe we should still but I think what I want to focus on more importantly is building the components to actually complete the next level of Victor so that we can start unlocking some more stuff so let's just see what do we need a whole bunch of those copper ingots iron ingots okay so plant matter frames are really the only thing that we need currently and those take plant matter fiber, which we've just started making in the middle there. Okay, all that should be okay. I just got to power this up again. Let's jack this up. Come on. Crank. There we go. Crank, crank, crank. Once we get the next level of upgrade on Victor, we can start doing the hydropower. We can start doing... What else can we start doing? All right, well, hydropower and oh yeah, the explosives. Okay, let's get these things on. Now these are we're gonna these are gonna require power, which is why I was making more foundations. So let's just put that there. Put that there. Okay, so that is going to start jacking up the speed. I've still got two of these things putting in, which is probably fine. I could get rid of them, though. Because the other problem is here, I've got long exerters, long inserters pulling out. And well, maybe it's not an issue. On the other side, they were starting to build up inside. Which they might do here again now that we're actually being able to keep up with the demand. So I might have to run the fuel on the back of these machines. 
change these to fast inserters and then use fast inserters on the front or double long whatever i don't think one long can keep up i don't think maybe it can i guess we'll find out so now that that's doing its thing we got that upgraded i should go upgrade the iron one as well but let's just leave it for now i need this stuff to get output uh how am i gonna do this i guess we can go like that and then like that and then like that and that should be all of our plant fiber and then actually this can just get put right into here right these are the things that are using it that's that'll work and i should output is full oh because this thing's full okay so maybe i will put a chest right here and we can start storing those things in there this is all temporary i'm gonna have to come up with an actual proper system here at some point to be able to use all this stuff but for now i think it's gonna get us by i should probably split this like so so that this one can have some Okay, we'll put that in there. We got to take those out of there. That's already coming out of there. Those are going to go in there, which means I don't need that. Okay. So that should be fine. Now, the only thing is I have to take all these things out, which I don't have enough inserters at the moment. We need more ingots. Okay, out 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 and out that should work oh that's not the right stuff oh that's only half of the right stuff oh no i forgot it's making that other resource okay Okay, 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 okay. I forgot. I totally forgot. So we're gonna have to get all that stuff out. If it's not... If it's not useful for building, then it's just gotta go. That's not a filter inserter. F8. F8! Okay. So this is going to pull... Hopefully, between the two of these things, it'll pull all of that stuff. Hopefully. If it gets by, well, then we're going to have a problem. Oh, it's getting by. Oh, it's going to get by. I might need more. Oh, you know what we can do? I'll just go like this. I don't want I don't want this stuff getting by. Cuz that would be bad. Okay. And I also don't really need all this stuff in my inventory. I'll, there we go. We'll get rid of that. So what I can do is just put one more filter inserter here and set it to be these things. Hopefully. That should just work. It's not the best, but that one thing there should be able to keep up with all of those. It'll work for now. Again, I gotta tear all of this down and come up with a proper system here at some point. Once I know, once I know the proper routes. It's just right now, I don't know what I actually need and what I don't need. <sighs> and we also have to upgrade all of our copper and iron productions, obviously, because right now we're not even making a full belt. I could probably start working on that. Why is this not? It is working. So maybe we should start looking at increasing our smelting speed now. Uh, synthesis smelting speed takes 110. Okay, so that's a work in progress. We're almost there. And why is this not working anymore? Is it full? Maybe it's full. I don't think it can take anymore. Kind of a weird spot to stop, though. 
Look, look it. It didn't even finish. It didn't even finish this row down here. How strange. Well, I don't know. I got no idea what's going on over there. It. It just. I don't know. Maybe that's all I can do. Maybe we do need to build another one. But for now. Oh, it's actually annoying. I was just going to say for now it's fine. But the actual problem is now I don't have enough research to unlock this. I need one more. Can I unactivate some of this stuff? I don't know how. Uh oh, I guess we could just make a few or you know what? Even better. I could just pick some up. So there we go. Now I have them. Can I just stick them on here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I could stick them around here. Maybe I'll take them back to the other base. I'm going to take a whole bunch of these. We'll take them back to the other base and I'll fill up some more of that space. I, I just don't like how ugly these things are and how much space they take up. So I'll take these back. I'll fill it up over there and then hopefully we can make another one of those. Whatever they're called. Uh, why can't I think of the name? Core Composer. That's what we're going to work on next. All right. I have finished setting up all of our purple science over here. I'm kind of playing around with the idea of setting up a core composer over here, grabbing a whole bunch of those science off a belt and then just setting them up off in the distance there so that I don't have a whole bunch of these things to look at. But anyway, we should be able to at least unlock it now, which is nice. So there's that. It's definitely going to help. It looks like our iron ingots are all backed up. Our copper's all backed up. That's great. Oh, it's because our science is all backed up. That's less great, but checks out. Okay, let's finish stacking up all these things. And how is our assembly coming along? We're up to 200. <sighs> That's not that many, though. Not when we need 2400 or something ridiculous like that. I'm also just going to grab a whole bunch of these iron bars if I can because we need 2,400 of these as well. All right, guys, so I've built enough stuff here to make one or more of these core composers. I keep forgetting the name of them. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. But I just can't remember the name. So anyway, I've got enough stuff here to make one more of those. For now, I'm just going to go stick it over beside the other one, like over there somewhere, right in there. Um, I guess we're gonna need some more belts to do that and At least then we will be able to keep using up some research here. It's gonna take a while but It is what it is. We got to get the research going We still need quite a bit more purple stuff before we have everything unlocked So we're just gonna have to deal with it eventually I'm gonna see what happens when I break that and then we will determine whether I made a, a poor decision or not. But for now, we're just going to go go for it. Go for the ride. So I did come over here. We've got fast inserters now going. Now, it seems like just just purely analytically or empirically, I guess, um, that these belts transfer about... Well, it looks like they move one grid per second, which if we say that's a meter, it's like one meter per second. And then each one of these belts, it appears to hold around two items. So if we say one meter per second at two items per chunk of belt, then that's two items per second we can transport. I'm just, I'm starting to try and figure out the ratios for all this stuff so that when we actually start cleaning up the factory, we do it efficiently and everything just kind of works. So these things, it seems like it takes around, well, it's like just over two seconds. I think it's around 2.4 seconds to make one of these things. I think when I was timing it, which means we need about five miners, I think just under five miners to keep up with a full belt of iron ore tier one i think again this is me speculating right now 
the game doesn't seem to have any actual values. Like, it doesn't tell me anywhere that it's two items per second. These things don't say that they mine at 2.4 per second or one every 2.4 seconds. So, I don't know. I'm speculating, but I think that's about right. So, we're going to need about five of those. And then these things. I think it actually does tell me the time to mine or to smelt. And it seems like, honestly, it seems like it's about the same time. Maybe it's a little bit longer, actually. Maybe these things did say. Let's see. Uh, iron 11.4 seconds. That can't be right. That just can't be right. Maybe that's how long it takes to make one of those. No. I, I actually don't know what the heck that means. Why does it say that? It's like five seconds. Not even. Less than five. One, two, three, four... It's like five seconds-ish. Maybe. Okay, it's four seconds. My, my speed was a little bit fast when I was counting, but I just double-checked. It is four seconds. So if these things haul two items per second, and these things take four seconds to smelt two, then we basically need four furnaces to keep up, which I think is what we've basically discovered here. I need four furnaces to keep up with a full belt. And I still think we need two more miners to actually make a full belt. Yeah, we're going to need a couple more miners no matter what I do. So maybe... Oh, we're out of juice again. But what I was just about to say is maybe what I'll do... Is start mining enough room here... To get two more miners going. Because once we can get two more miners... Then we know we should be able to get our full belt. And I, that should be it. Once we got our full belt of ingots, I guess what's actually going to happen is because it's a two to one, we basically need two full belts of ore to get one full belt of ingots, right? It's a one, it's a two to one ratio, I think. Two raw to one ingot. So if we actually want to start working with full belts, we're going to need 10 miners. And yeah, we're going to need 10 miners and eight of these things, I think. Again, this is all speculation. I don't know for sure. <laughs> but let's start with the miners because um, we can. I need a bunch of iron for this. And there we go. What's going on here? Why can't I make more miners? There. So that is going to make us half of a belt for now. And then I guess what we could do eventually is turn this input belt into a green belt. I'm assuming it's a two to one. I don't know. I'm just assuming. But we could set this to be a green belt and then the output could be a, a yellow belt. And then we don't need so many belts. But anyway, let's get this set up and running. Come on. And at least then we know we are making, well, for now, half a belt half a belt of ore which is better than nothing at this point so this has to connect in to here and i am going to need the fuel i'm gonna need the fuel to actually go up and over not up and over but like with the long inserters so we can branch the fuel off like this for now Yep, that is going to work out just nice. And then... Long inserters for fuel. And we're going to need fast inserters for extractions. And then I am still going to need to connect this in, which I don't have enough tiles right now. So let's just break some of these. How hard is it to make some more of those base building? There we go. We'll make some more of those. And hopefully, whoops, hopefully that is enough to get us all the way down here. Okay, so there we go. That should be 
a full this belt should end up being full i think it kind of looks like it is full already i don't know maybe my numbers are wrong we'll find out for sure though maybe we can squish a little bit more oh you know what's happening it's because these things they're slowly emptying that's what's happening yep they uh they had a little bit of a stockpile in there so right now they're they're dwindling but yeah that's exactly why so this should work 100 percent of the time this should always be full forever and then yeah this this guy is going to not i don't think be working all the time but it'll be close okay so there we go that's that side we have to do the same thing with the other side how is our productions here we've got 250 plus a little bit more why is oh god this is so slow there's so much crap in here maybe i should just take it out by hand there get get out of here got no room no room for this get out this is not a good system and i wouldn't recommend but it's gonna get us going for now okay there i need more of that fiber stuff and i should be converting this what does it turn into again limestone i just don't know what to do with the limestone because we're not making this stuff yet but we could ah uh, not right now one thing at a time so on this side we only currently have three for uh burners melters smelters whatever so i'm gonna have to get one more squished in here somewhere and the problem is i also need fuel uh, oh this is gonna be gross okay well let's start with putting this in here we're going to need some belts whoop not there not there why is it doing that there we go we'll go like this okay that is going to allow us to go like this and then somehow i need to get fuel into there which isn't that hard because i should be able to just go like this um but what i also need to do is get oh man okay what if i actually come off like this because no that's not gonna work i need to get this thing out of the way maybe i'll get rid of this light bulb too Okay, so I want to be able to extract and put fuel in here. Actually, this should work out fine. No, because then I can't turn it. Do I have to turn it? I don't know if I have to turn it. I think it's fine. If we just go something like this and i go up and over like that is that going to connect the way i want i'm not sure okay i mean it seems to be working i don't know if that's actually the best or not but then we can put one of these guys here oh i don't have a long inserter okay we'll make that we're going to need more floor which i also don't have right now maybe we can just steal a few more pieces okay almost there I just need to connect those. I should put one more there. We're going to need to put fuel in. Put fuel in. Come on. Oh, we got to make. We're almost there. We're almost there. Then I can put the fuel in. And then we just got to extract it here. 
Then we'll be making a full belt of copper ore, a full belt of iron ore. And we should be smelting it as fast as we can. So we're going to end up with a half a belt of both of them for now, I think. That should all be working. Yes, that looks great. Okay, so going forward in the next episode, I think what we are going to do is finally start setting up a proper setup in our base to start making us um, tiles, the foundations, and the belts, and the inserters, maybe some of these things. I want to, yeah, I want to, to start setting up some stuff like that so that anytime we want to expand, I just go and I grab this stuff. I wish there was a way to set limits on this stuff. Uh, I haven't found it yet, but if there was a way to set limits, then I could have all my stuff getting put put into chests and I wouldn't be filling it up forever because I don't really want to put a chest down and have it full of power floors, but... I mean, we might end up having to do that yet. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But for now, things are looking pretty good. Let me just right quick before we wrap up this episode. Let's see how much iron we actually have. I should have close to enough. Maybe not. That's only 1100. Uh, we needed 2400 or something like that. So we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there guys I hope you like the series so far if you are don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video Subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I will see you next time